If Mara Justine from season 24 of The Voice seems familiar, it's likely because you've seen her on various reality shows before. In this era of viral sensations, Mara's journey as a singer stands out as a testament to pure determination in pursuit of her dreams. For over a decade, Mara has been tirelessly striving to make her mark in the music industry, from her early triumphs in local competitions to gracing the stages of internationally acclaimed shows like America's Got Talent, American Idol, and now The Voice, Mara's journey epitomizes sheer determination and unwavering perseverance in the pursuit of her dreams. Join us as we uncover what The Voice didn't tell you about Mara Justine. Mara Justine was born on the 28th of February 2002. Hailing from New Jersey, Mara grew up in Galloway Township, situated in the southern part of the state. Her musical journey commenced at a young age, marked by her victorious performance of Whitney Houston's Greatest Love of All at a local singing competition. This early triumph ignited her passion for singing, leading her to appear at various local events, including charity benefits and sports gatherings. Prior to her breakout on The Voice, Mara showcased her talent at bars and restaurants along the Jersey Shore. Mara comes from a close-knit Italian family. She shares a musical inclination with her sister JC, who's also a singer, underscoring the familial support and musical legacy that shape Mara's journey. Before making her national debut on America's Got Talent, Mara Justine showcased her talent on the local television show Maury's Most Talented Kids. This early exposure hinted at the promising career that lay ahead for the young singing sensation. To nurture her musical aspirations, Mara received vocal lessons and guidance from Sal Dupree of the Dupree Center for the Performing Arts. With over 45 years of experience as an entertainer, performer, and voice instructor, Sal has played a pivotal role in coaching and supporting Mara as she refines her innate vocal abilities. Even today, Mara continues her training under the tutelage of Sal Dupree, further honing her skills and pursuing a passion for music. During the ninth season of America's Got Talent in 2014, Mara left the judges Howie Mandel, Howard Stern, Mel B, and Heidi Klum in awe of her powerful voice. At Radio City Music Hall, she delivered a striking rendition of Katy Perry's Unconditionally during the live quarterfinals, a performance that left a lasting impression on both the audience and judges. Despite her captivating performance, Mara didn't initially advance based on America's overnight vote. However, faced with the decision to save either Mara or the operatic duo Act A2, the judges chose to use their save on Mara, recognizing her talent and potential. In the subsequent live semi-finals, Mara once again showed her vocal prowess with a rendition of Kelly Clarkson's Breakaway, earning America's instant save and securing her spot on the top 12. However, Mara's journey on AGT concluded after her final performance of Perfect, leading to her elimination from the competition. Although Mara didn't emerge as the ultimate winner of AGT Season 9, her journey on the show showcased her incredible talent as a young performer. Close-up magician Matt Franco ultimately claimed the title of the season's winner. After AGT, Mara Justine launched a self-titled EP, marking a significant milestone in her music career. Since then, she's garnered millions of views on platforms like YouTube and TikTok, with her outstanding covers. Notable among these is her rendition of Bishop Briggs' 2016 hit, River, which shone a light on her powerful vocals and emotive delivery. Additionally, Mara's interpretation of You Know My Name by gospel singer Tasha Cobbs Leonard further highlighted her versatility and musical depth. Through her online presence, Mara continues to captivate audiences with her talent and passion for music. In 2018, Mara auditioned for the 16th season of American Idol with her rendition of Love on the Brain. A performance of Something's Got a Hold on Me secured her a spot in the top 24. With covers of Run to You and Fight Song, Mara advanced to the top 14. However, despite her compelling performance of This Is Me during the live shows, Mara was eliminated before reaching the top 10. Judge Lionel Richie commended Mara's confidence and inner strength during her time on the show. Reflecting on her journey, he acknowledged the maturity and talent she exhibited at such a young age, expressing admiration for her resilience and determination in the face of challenges. 
A decade after her first appearance on AGT, Mera came to show how much she's grown as an artist on the revered stage of The Voice Season 24. In the blind auditions, song choice is paramount, and Mera's rendition of Elton John's Goodbye Yellow Brick Road proved to be a masterstroke. As she began to sing, her smoky vocals captivated the audience and coaches alike, setting the stage for an electrifying performance. The soulful interpretation of the song, infused with Justine's unique style, caught the immediate attention of coaches John Legend and Gwen Stefani, prompting them to hit their buzzers in rapid succession. John, impressed by Mera's tone and finesse, wasted no time in expressing his desire to have her join his team. Mera's rendition continued to mesmerize as Reba McIntyre's chair turned towards the stage, followed by Niall Horan completing the coveted four-chair turn. Niall, acknowledging her Jersey roots and her bold choice of song, commended her talent and predicted a bright future ahead. Each coach vied for Mera's allegiance, presenting compelling arguments for why she should join their team. However, it was John who made the initial turn and recognized Mera's potential as a vocalist, labeling her a magical gem deserving of his mentorship. Despite persuasive pitches from Gwen, Niall, and Reba, Mera ultimately chose John as a coach. In an emotional moment during the premiere episode, Mera also opened up about her mother's recent breast cancer diagnosis, which had come just a month before her audition on the show. Despite fighting back tears, she shared the profound role that music played in her life during such challenging times. Mera expressed how music served as her refuge, helping her navigate through the difficulties. She emphasized that being on the show wasn't just an opportunity, but a blessing, especially given her newfound perspective on life. Her heartfelt words highlighted the transformative power of music and the deep significance of the opportunity presented to her on the show. As the competition progressed, Mera consistently delivered stunning performances that propelled her into the top five of season 24. With each round, she amazed everyone with her vocal prowess and stage presence. Despite her impressive talent and dedication, Mera ultimately claimed the third place spot, falling short of season 24 winner Huntley and runner-up Ruby Lee. Throughout the season, Mera entertained audiences with memorable performances, including Teddy Lewis's Lose Control and Chris Stapleton's Parachute during the lives. She was also impressed with her rendition of Harry Nelson's cover of the Bad Finger classic Without You during the knockouts, among others. Mera's versatility as a performer was evident as she tackled iconic songs such as Janis Joplin's Peace of My Heart and Adele's Turning Tables, highlighting her ability to infuse emotion and depth into her performances. Her collaboration with Niall Horan on the Eagles' wasted time during the finale was undoubtedly a standout moment. Their chemistry on stage was so good that many people commented about how Mara should go on tour with Niall next time. As Mera's musical career reaches new heights, fans are understandably intrigued about her personal life, including her romantic relationships. Currently, Mera Justine is single, with no information about a boyfriend. At 22 years old, the singer appears to be fully committed to nurturing her burgeoning career and exploring her musical path. From her initial successes in local competitions to her appearances on globally recognized platforms, Mera's journey underscores her unwavering dedication and profound love for music. Following her stint on The Voice, Justine returned to her roots in New Jersey, where she resumed performing at various events. Reflecting on her experience on The Voice, Mera expressed immense gratitude, describing it as the most incredible blessing in her life. She radiated excitement for the future, indicating that things were falling into place seamlessly. Furthermore, in an interview, Mera articulated a profound sense of pride in her journey, emphasizing her relentless dedication to improvement. Throughout the competition, she pushed herself to grow as an artist, recognizing that personal growth is a remarkable aspect of the human experience.